Hello, <clears throat> my dear brothers and sisters. This is the fourth video in the series Heart to Soul. And following on from the previous video, which where we looked at faith and prayer and love, within our relationship with Source, I would like to just focus on something that we each embrace every day, the gift of silence. <clears throat> silence, we know, plays an important part as a sacred tool in God's toolbox wherein our hearts become entwined with the mystical heart of God. But first I'd like to read to you a beautiful <coughs> poem from one of our community and it's titled The Secret to You. Today is the beginning of my life, my new life. I am starting over today. All good things are coming to me today. I am grateful to be alive. I see beauty all around me. I live with passion and purpose. I take time to laugh and play every day. I am awake. I am energized. I am alive. I focus on all the good things in life and give thanks for them. I am at peace and one with everything. I feel the love, the joy and the abundance. I am free to be myself. I am magnificence in human form. I am the perfection of life. I am grateful to be me. And today is the best day of my life. Is that not the prayer of the Beloved to our heart that can inspire a human heart born through tragedy and suffering that can share such love with us? Is this not a human heart that has been touched by the same Spirit that is ready and willing and able and capable of touching the hearts of those stubborn hearts within the Abrahamic faith community. And today I come to you not to preach or to teach, but hopefully to inspire your heart. Surrender. Surrender all that you are so that you can experience the abundant love from a Holy Father, Mother God. Since living this life as a covenanted enclosed monastic in 2007 on the Feast of Our Lady, the Immaculate Conception, a special day for me <clears throat> because on the 8th of December 1966 I became a novice where I spent two years in an enclosed community testing my vocation and on the 8th of December 68 I was ordained a monk and every year on that day date <coughs> sorry I made a simple promise to God that I would do my best and okay I left the monastery <coughs> in 1974-75 but somehow I continued to celebrate that day as my spiritual birthday, the day when I covenanted a human heart to God. And though St. Benedict reminded us, or it was reminded to me when I took my vows of poverty, celibacy and obedience, it only takes a minute, but a lifetime to live it. And I realized looking back on my life, a sense of disappointment that I wasn't given the opportunities within my community to be able to fly like I do today. There are no regrets, only a sense of sadness. 
for many monastics who live that simple life but whose hearts are eager to fly but their wings have been so severely clipped by tradition, by ritual and by fear. And when I look from the outside into that monastic experience, I can see that a lot of my brothers and sisters are caged birds. They won't see that, they won't recognize it, like the Abrahamic faith community won't see any harm in what they're doing to one another. But for you and me who have been set free, we have been promised an incredible opportunity to honor our heart today and to walk away from fear and control and just surrender our heart to truth, to simplicity, to love. And the purpose of making this short video is not to tell you what to do. It's to say this. God does not give up on his beloved children. And if you need proof, well then, this is my life. I have not been an honorable person in terms of, in the eyes of God, for being a, a dutiful free spirit. No, I've been a caged bird. Very angry and at times unforgiving. And more often than not, and in a sense of self-loathing and self-hate. And when I look back, I realize that I actually was the one who alienated myself from a loving God by allowing those negative mindsets control my heart. I thank God for the introduction and awareness to the therapeutic scenes of Mount Sinai. 8,000 years ago, and I thank God that I've been guided to Egypt to bring many people there on retreat to embrace the Divine Feminine, and there I found my spiritual home, where the Master Jesus and Magdalena instructed me well, and I made a promise that I would return 2,000 years on. So I am here more often than not, I'm walking in blind faith. I'm trusting. I go with my heart. Though my head speaks another language, and often it's a language of discouragement and despair, my heart is what keeps me grounded and rooted. And when I read that beautiful poem that was channeled, today is the beginning of my new life. Is this today the beginning of your new life. Are you willing to trust your inner most secrets of your heart and let go of the nonsense, the fear, the procrastination? Are you willing to start over and experience the wonderment of a loving Father Mother God that causes you to agape? to a celebration of your divinity, your life, your truth, your love? Are you willing to take that leap into the unknown? But it's not the unknown, because there's a loving Father, Mother God there waiting with the spirit of sonship and daughtership to welcome you. It says here, I live with passion and purpose. I see beauty all around me. Well, I thank God for my mental breakdown 13 years ago. Yes, I lost everything, and yes, I was stripped bare to my knuckles, but that breakdown was my breakthrough to living and leading a simple life. So my God isn't in the fine churches, mosques, or synagogues. My God is in creation, and it demonstrates to me compassion. Embrace brothers and sisters of all faiths and none, all sexualities and none, and embrace one's inner heart, and experience the love of a selfless God. Thank you.